everyone i'm jonathan blaylock for dog tracks and i'm here with our guest special guest uh jillian brockman tied the school record with most receptions and touchdowns you finished with four receptions and 120 yards how would you like to talk about um well in that game in that moment i wasn't really thinking about my personal accolade accolades or anything i was just trying to win because you know you know coming into that game we were better than them, and I just, I guess I just showed it more that night than any other night, you know? It was a good win, too, by the way. Um, what was it, 40 to 8, 7, 40 to 7? It was a great win for us, but um, uh, let's talk about how you got started with football. Um, so the thing is, uh, I never really – loved football like a lot of people think I do because I, I got started in sixth grade a lot of people started you know like you started pretty young third grade something like that did you yeah. not yeah. yeah see I got started pretty late and I kind of just it came natural to me and I just I stuck with it and you know I quit basketball in eighth grade so I really put it a lot into football when I quit basketball so I guess my love for the sport has grown over the years so do you play many sports yeah i play i play football you know i play basketball and again and now i'm playing soccer this year too so that'll be fun yeah uh what were your goals going into the season um in, going into the season i was trying to get 10 touchdowns so I can uh, at least say I got a touchdown every game, you know. <laughs> yes, yeah. And then I only had two whole two total touchdowns last year, so I was just trying to beat that by as much as I can, you Pick know. That up. Yeah. So Julian, a lot of people on the team would consider you a leader. Would you consider yourself a leader? Uh, I try to be, and uh, it's kind of hard, you know, with the the numbers and stuff that we got right now and how our season's going, but yeah, I try to be one, yeah. So Julian, you you play wide receiver and you also play corner and safety. So are you do you think you're better at wide receiver or safety? Um honestly I think I'm better at safety. But I want to do more at receiver and you know I'm just trying to trying to step that up and be a key part in the passing game, the safety, that's probably my big How did you feel knowing that you broke, or that you tied the passing record? Um, I ain't gonna lie, when I found out, I was kinda, it kinda made my heart happy, you know, cause it feels really good knowing that my name's in the books, you know? And when you, when somebody else breaks it, you, you'll see my name for sure, and that kinda, heartwarming so well there was a bunch of really good receivers that broke the record that are leading it now and that are tied up with you like uh Rashad Criswell in 2013 uh Jamal Brown in 2003 uh Graham Hodron in 2015 and Deontay Duncan in 2016 so I mean it's a it's a really cool deal to know you know that you're on that what did it take for you to get that far um, well, you know, you know me as a person, so, I mean, I, I try to work hard and put in time, but honestly, I think Coach Ward had kind of planned that, to, you know, not really planned me breaking it or tying it, but he kind of, yeah, we're going to give him the ball this game, see what he can do, you know, so. So, what are your uh, goals you know, after season's over, you know, you're, he's just, uh, Julian Brockman's a senior, by the way. Um, what What are your goals after after football season? Like, what do you want to do? Uh, what do you want to be? Uh, I've been thinking on that uh, pretty hard these past couple of weeks, you know, with the season going how it is. But uh, I'm not really sure yet. Uh, I got a couple of coaches that have contacted me and, you know, I don't know if I want to continue in athletics, but I might give it a shot depending on how I'm feeling at the end of the season, you know. But uh, 
after high school, I want to be a um, ultrasound technician. I want to go to school for two years, get my associates, and try to be an ultrasound tech somewhere. But there's not a lot of ultrasound tech in you know in Arkansas, so I guess we'll see how that goes, JB. Well, thank you so much for coming to interview yourself with us. I'm Jonathan Blaylock with Julian Brockman, and you're watching Dog Tracks.